Spike it up a bit and... Oh, yeah, that's not bad. But it's still not right. Oh, hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. I'm trying to make my hair look different. I fancy a new hairstyle, but I haven't found the right one yet. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ben. Hello, Ben. What are you doing? Oh, hello, Small. I'm trying to make my hair look different. I'm fed up with this hairstyle. I want a new one. Oh, I see. Well, I've got a really good game to help you decide which hairstyle you like. Brilliant. Then I could see how I'd look if my hair was different. <laughs> it's called long, short, straight and curly. <laughs> oh, great. How do we play? First, find a photograph of yourself. Right, a photograph. Um, where is... Oh, I know. Here we are. Over we go. Found one! <laughs> <laughs> Look at my hair, Small! I was taken on a really windy day. Look at it blowing all over the place! <laughs> <laughs> you do look funny! Yeah. <laughs> How do we play this game then, Small? In that box are some cards. Take one out at a time and put the hole over your face. Okay. What about this one? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! <laughs> How about long straight hair like Rapunzel? Let's see. <laughs> it looks great on Rapunzel, but it's not for me, Small. <laughs> it's just too long and straight. How about this one? That might suit you. It's big red curly hair like a clown. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't think so, Small. It's just too curly. Try another one. Okay. Let's see. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I wouldn't feel right with green hair, Small. <laughs> look at your hair, Small. It's all bright and red. It's a great colour. I'd love hair like yours. No time to be worrying about your hair now, Ben. We've got a customer. Oh, a customer, a customer. <laughs> I'm on my way. Who's our customer, Small? Well, I never. I'll give you a clue. It's someone who likes using shampoo a lot. Hmm. Shampoo. And someone who likes chop, chop, chopping hair. Oh, is it a hairdresser? That's right, Ben. It's Harriet the hairdresser from the hair lounge down the road. Oh, how exciting. I bet she'll be really hungry after all that hair cutting. Oh, yes. I wonder what she'd like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Boris was a beautiful dog. He was so beautiful, his owner showed him at dog shows all around the country. But he'd never quite managed to win first prize. One day I met Boris and his owner walking in the park. They were about to enter a big dog show in town. Suddenly, a cheeky cat popped its head out of a flower bed and meowed, Catch me if you can! Dogs love chasing cats, and that's exactly what Boris did. He ran after the cat as fast as he could, leaving his owner following behind. Boris ran through the squelchy mud after the cat. Boris ran up a leafy tree after the cat. And Boris ran through some spiky bushes after the cat. Finally, his owner managed to stop Boris, but it was too late. Boris and his owner looked a mess. Their hair and fur were tangled, dirty and full of mud, leaves and twigs. Oh no, said Boris's owner. 
We're never going to win first prize at the dog show now. And that's when I had an idea. I took Boris and his owner to see Harriet the hairdresser. She shampooed their hair. Boris liked the bubbles. She combed their hair and gave them snazzy haircuts. Finally, she blew their hair dry. Boris liked that bit too. Boris and his owner left the hairdressers looking tip top. And they were just in time for the dog show. Can you guess what Boris won? First prize! For looking so smart! Hooray for Little Cook! Everyone cheered. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! How clever of Harriet the hairdresser to make Boris and his owner look so pretty! Hooray! I know! And Harriet the hairdresser even gave me a bit of a trim too! So what would a hairdresser like Harriet like to eat? <laughs> Perhaps something hairy. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a think. <laughs> oh, <we> got... <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Ah, yes, here it is. The very thing. <laughs> Dotty hairstyles. What could be better for Harriet the hairdresser? Oh, look at that pasta. It makes brilliant hair, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need pasta in all different shapes. Pasta, long and short, straight and curly. Got them, Small. Tomato puree. Tomato puree, got that too. Olives. Olives, got those. Milk, over to the fridge. We've got milk, got it. Cheese triangles, in the fridge too. Got those small. Radishes, oh, lovely radishes. Got them. And red pepper. There we are, lovely red pepper. On it goes. There we are, small. Everything we need for dotty hairstyles. Funny thing, Pasta, isn't it? Long and straight and short and curly. <laughs> I wonder how it's made. Hey, I know. Why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready. Great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Woohoo! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Hee hee! This is going to be fun! This man's a chef. He makes Italian food. He's going to make some pasta. First of all, we need some flour. And then some eggs. Oh, and a little bit of salt. Sprinkle it on. Now it's time to carefully mix it all together. It looks really good fun and very messy. Oh, it takes a long time to mix it all properly. But when it's done, you have a ball of pasta dough ready to make pasta. The dough is put into a machine. You turn the handle and the dough is stretched and made a little longer. The dough has got really, really long. Ah, the dough has been turned into a pasta called spaghetti. Spaghetti is long, thin pieces of pasta. It looks like hair. That was so much fun seeing pasta being made. I can't wait to tell Ben about this. See you later. Woo! Woo hey! I'm back, Ben. It was amazing. I saw how pasta is made. 
First the man made a sort of dough with the eggs and flour. And then he put it through this special machine which made the slithery spaghetti. It looked just like hair. Talking about hair, what have you done to yours? Oh, I'm just trying out a few different styles, Small. I'm still not happy, though. You're so lucky to have such great hair, you know. I wish I could try it for a day. We'll have to worry about your hair later, Ben. I'll try and think of a few hairstyles for you. But right now, we need to make dotty hairstyles for Harriet the hairdresser. Woohoo! We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles, as envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Dotty hairstyles? You do? There was pasta, one cup, long and thin, short and curly, tomato puree, one tablespoon, olives, two, milk, five tablespoons, cheese triangles, three, radishes, one, sliced, and red pepper, a slice. All the ingredients ready to go. Whoopee! Let's get started! Small, can you have a think about what hairstyle we're going to make for Harriet? Yes, OK, Ben. Excellent. Now, I've started to gently boil a pan of water. This is a job for your grown-up helper because it's going to get hot, hot, hot. Pop in our pasta. In it goes. It's hard now, but when it's cooked, it'll go soft. I'll have to think about Harriet's hairstyle later. But first, let's think about the different hairstyles for Ben. OK, hair, hair, on Ben's head. If you weren't there, what would be there instead? Would it be short or would it be long? Straight with a comb or curly with a tongue? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> While Small's figuring out a hairstyle, let's get on. Now our pasta's just soft enough now, so turn off the heat and leave it in the pan to keep it warm. Now it's time for our dotty hair sauce. So, I'm going to put the milk, in it goes, the cheese triangles, there we are, and the tomato puree, there we go, into a pan, turn it on, and mix it well. There! Oh dear! That style's never going to suit Ben, is it? Let's try something else. OK. Hair, hair, on Ben's head. If you weren't there, what would be there instead? Would he have bunches? Would he have a plait? Would it be bushy? Or would it be flat? Hee <laughs> hee! There we are. I've drained the water from the pasta. So now, I'm going to pour our sauce into the middle of a plate. Nice and slowly. On it goes. There we go. This is going to be our face. And onto that, I'm going to take our two olives, and I'm going to use those as eyes. And now I'll take the pepper for a nice smiley mouth. I'm going to use two slices of radish to be lovely rosy cheeks. There we are. Now it's time for our dotty hairstyle. Small, have you decided which hairstyle we're going to go for? Oh yes, let's give her curly spaghetti hair with a twisty fringe and bows at the side. <laughs> Look at you, Small. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Now make sure your hands are nice and clean for this next part and make sure your pasta has cooled right down. On it goes. Are you okay, Small? You're very quiet today. 
Oh, yes, Ben, I'm fine. I'm just trying to find a few hairstyles for you. There! Oh, dear. Ben will definitely not like this hairstyle. Let's have a think. Hmm. I know! Plats! Yes! Plats! There we are, Small. Just like you said. I've put the spaghetti all the way around the top, nice and curly, and I've popped the twist just over here at the front to make a lovely fringe. And I'm going to pop two green bows on either side. Hey, there! Do you like my plaits? I don't think they'll suit Ben, though. One dotty hairstyle ready to eat. Let's get it off to Harriet the hairdresser. Right you are, then. One dotty hairstyle coming through. Oh, in it goes. There we are. Whew. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. There. And I think I've decided how I'd like my new hairstyle to be small. Just like yours. Oh, that's brilliant, Ben. Aha, here comes the plates. Oh, yes. And look, Harriet the hairdresser has left us a box and a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? Over we go. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. My dotty hairstyle was delicious. I know Ben wanted a change of hairstyle today, so to say thank you, I've left you a little present. With these, you'll be able to have a different hairstyle every day of the week. Well, have a look, Ben, have a look. Oh, small, look, it's wigs. Lots and lots of wigs. Big wigs for me, oh, and small wigs for you. There you go. Oh, thanks, Ben. The perfect gift. <laughs> hair, hair on my head. If you weren't there, what would be there instead? <laughs> would it be blonde, the hair on my head? Or would it be like Smalls? <laughs> Lovely and red. <laughs> <laughs> hair, hair on my head. If you weren't there, what would be there instead? Would it be feathered, just like a hen's? <laughs> or would it be brown and short like Ben's? <laughs> you look great! <laughs> See you soon! See you soon! Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for